was a very good-natured guy. He, he had a big grin, you know, that was one of his hallmark things was he gave this big tooth, toothy cheesy grin. <laughs> so he was known for that, but he, he was just a very good-natured kid. He was the kind of kid that uh, whenever he put his put his mind to a project or um, an activity, he put his whole self into it. He wanted to make sure things were done right, but it's just who Dan was. It came from within. He was, again, didn't make a lot of noise through his life, but, but he was a strong person. And uh, people, people gravitated towards him, even though, you know, he didn't really seek that at all. But he was, he was really, once he made a decision, he didn't, uh, he followed, he followed through and it's just who he was and, and he made a decision for Christ and, and he, w and he lived for Christ. You know, through, through Dan's life and through Dan's death, our, our hope is that other people will be affected uh, in a positive way. Our hope is that people will be drawn to the Lord. Our hope is that people's lives will continue to be changed. We've heard of a number of people that have been, their lives have been touched and been changed because of, because of Dan's life and Dan's death. And, and um, the chapel project at Golden Bell is, is a continuation of that hope. And so we, we feel like this is a project that, that we can really um, support and help young people find the Lord. It's something that that we as a family, we can't do on our own. We don't have the resources to do our own, nor I don't know that we would want to do it on our own. Um, it's something that needs to be done from the body of believers. But I, I think it's a project that Dan would put his stamp of approval on. <laughs> of something that, that, yeah, well done. Thank you.